Taurus, what's up, y'all? What's up? Huh, happy December. I don't know. I feel very, um, <laughs> with you all. I don't even know what deck I want to start off using. I think I'm going to start off with this one, but it's your girl, Light of Mine, the one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm here with you all's December monthly messages, Taurus. Um, for those new to the channel, welcome. And for those returning, welcome back. How you doing, Light Bulb? Bing. <laughs> um, I don't have any messages for you all, like intuitively. So let's just get on into it. I'm here and save room for my love. Save room for a moment to be with me. Save room for my love. Save a little. Save a little for me. Won't you save a little? It was supposed to be letting somebody go this month of December. Someone or something um, has ran its course. Some of you all might dye your hair red because of it. <laughs> um, you turning up after this. Is Somebody is finna have a back to the streets party. <laughs> Why? No, I'm just playing. Um... It happens, you know. I feel like you will be showing up as the villain in someone's story, okay? But that's because there are three sides to every story. It's your side, it's their side, and it's the truth. So, someone isn't liking the way that you were, like, giving it up. Now I'm hearing, I'm through it, love, I'm through it. I've given so much in the past, but I never had. So you're giving it up, okay? And someone doesn't like it. You are crushing someone's heart. But they crushed yours first. I know they did. I know it wasn't on you, tour. <laughs> for, for some of y'all, it may have been you. But for most of y'all, it was not you. Because the last card out is you deserve sugar, not salt. So you had to let somebody go or something go. And now they trying to tell the whole town that you did them dirty, that you did them wrong. That everything you did for them, I did this and this and this for Taurus. And this is how they repay me. That's, that's what they telling everybody else. But in your inbox, calling you all types of names other than a child of God. And it's like, no, that's exactly why I had to let your ass go. Because you like to show up like you were just Mr. or Mrs. Perfect partner, perfect spouse, perfect job, perfect boss, per perfect family member, perfect, perfect, perfect. But really, you was on some bullshit. You was giving me salt and I deserve sugar. You deserve sugar. You deserve sweetness. So definitely surround yourself with love. With You can always rewrite the story here. Um, just know, don't, don't listen to the stories that they are trying to paint you as. You know, do not assume the character that they are trying to put upon you because you're not that so don't subscribe to that shit okay do not subscribe to that shit i feel like a lot more balance is coming uh things are balancing itself out the um December 11th may be significant for you, but things are balancing itself out. Things are securing. 
your money is getting better. I feel like um, you all feel a lot more charged up than you have maybe um, the past couple of months since the weather started to turn. I feel like you feel a lot more free. Some of y'all letting it all hang out, if you know what I mean. Um, but I also feel like you all are learning a lot this month of December, learning a lot about yourselves. Some of you all um, are studying. Some of y'all are in school. Or you are a teacher and you're... Um, <laughs> I just heard, yeah, it's almost over from ATL. So you may be feeling a lot more balanced and able to breathe because the end of the school year is coming or the end of a semester is coming. Something worked out in your favor. Something worked out in your favor. It, it still taught you a lot, but something worked out in your favor. I'm hearing like something about maybe a law was overturned or um, you could be in law school. So if you just, <laughs> someone is really upset. I, I see, I see now. I see what's going on here, okay? You may, you and this person or this whatever, this dynamic may have been over. But let them tell it because you're talking to somebody else now they're telling everybody else nah sh they were they were with that person before we broke up or as soon as we ended they got with this person nigga y'all been over bitch y'all been over but let them tell it <laughs> you rebounded quick as hell you got right, you hopped right under another nigga. You hopped right on top of another bitch. Like, trying to um, throw salt, throw dirt on your name. You know, trying to paint you as being... Lord, um, you aren't worried though. Um, I feel like you may have been for a second, but it was like that shit ain't true. So let me get this energy up off of me. Um, you did not stay in this nine of swords energy for long. You hopped right on into the six of wands, and that's probably why they mad too because you're able. Listen. You may be the type of person <laughs> that can overcome any challenge, overcome anything, and people are, they, they get really angry at it. It happens to me all the time. They tried to kill your favorite bitch, you know? It's like something like that. Like, there is somebody that always wonders how you, Taurus, seem to overcome every obstacle. They be like, damn, Taurus ain't dead yet? No, bitch. <laughs> Still living. I love that for you. Keep shining. Keep popping up like a um like a mongoose, like Kodak say. <sighs> People so they be so mad and just nasty. Um, 
so yeah i feel like you aren't keeping it to yourself either you know i feel like you the type that'll make a caption <laughs> or or post a picture a selfie or something and the caption will be like i have i, I listen this year was supposed to break me but bitch look at me <laughs> as you are in front of the Eiffel Tower or some shit. Like, yeah, I see you letting people know um, that you are victorious. <laughs> and so they can keep on hating. Um, I see that you do want love though. Like you're over <laughs> whatever incident, scenario, situation, ship, whatever the fuck that was. And now you know exactly what you want to call in and you're expressing that. You are expressing that. Um, I do feel like you are having like little um like pep talks with yourself though um as far as what you need in order to prepare for this next relationship or connection or job or whatever you know i feel like you are mentally preparing yourself for what you are calling in now and that's how you do it that's 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 the right that's the way to do um, I need to shuffle these. Hold on. Because this is the third time that these two cards fell out together. So, Some of your childhood fears will be coming up um, this month of December. Certain anxieties from the past, um, certain fears. Um, like say you have um, a a lack mindset that stemmed from childhood and you may have healed it in some ways um but not others certain things are coming back up in order for you to um take a look at them you know and uh work on you know they're being illuminated for you to work on they're being brought back up to the surface for you to do the work <laughs> for you to acknowledge these feelings for you to ask yourself questions on how did we get here and in what ways um can we mature and evolve past these fears okay i see you cleansing them out by the end of december um i feel like as 2023 is ushered in for y'all taurus you you're gonna be just fine um because you are you you are releasing you know try not to when these things come up just sweep it back under the rug no that's not what they're coming up for they're coming up for you to handle them 
So um, I feel like these, these fears are also what affect your personal relationships. So yeah, take a look at that, okay? Don't forget to let your light shine no matter who it blinds and I'll see y'all later.